So I'm up on my four day, three night Gorge Explorer Tour. Go with the group from the Vancouver Bicycle Club and the Portland Wilman's Club. I think the standard drive is about 230 miles. This part here is always interesting, although the traffic's pretty clear right now. You have to kind of cross freeway pass some traffic. But fortunately, no traffic right now. Smooth sailing. There's a car back and a truck forward. They got rid of the bike lane. Now I got cars zipping by me. Hey guys, how you doing? The sandy swimming hole, good place to stop. Sorry, left, sorry. It's gonna be a great weekend. Yes, can you believe it? Yeah. Morning. 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 Kept getting lost. Washugo River Mercantile. A few bikes here, or a couple. Started the semi-long climb before you descend down some pretty pretty steep hills quickly. This is the back way around Cape Horn, so you don't have to be on Highway 14, which has not very much shoulder in that area and a lot of high-speed traffic. So this is a much better right for, route for biking. Here comes the log truck. Hope it doesn't run me over.
Hey. Where's the next turn? Uh, up here. <laughs> uh, I think officially it's the Scamania Landing. A side route here. It's part of the official route, but it just comes right back to the road. You do miss the little store there, which is okay, I think. Here we are at Beacon Rock. Oh, I could always fill up on my cannabis. Now open. Cannabis Corner. So we're traveling through North Bonneville, just off of 14 and close to Bonneville Dam. I didn't know there was that many. Wow. See, so you can be buried here if you want. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just have to make a good donation to North Bonneville. Yeah. For $5,000. Yeah. Hey, you hold that killer pace. Uh, yeah. Those things can be tight. Yeah, especially like you said, they're brand new. Yeah. I'm not sure the name of this lake, but we're in Stevenson. Some big geese coming up. Let's see if I can get through them. They didn't like me going through them, it didn't look like. Now I have some Canadian geese coming up. No train horn.
Hi. Hello. So where the Russians?
some old paddle loading structure. Yeah, it's not too far. Really? We're that right that ridge right there. So you know that there's a sign back there that said it's uh mile, nine miles. This is probably not much further because I'm at eight right now. Yeah, it's just at the bottom of this hill. Yeah. Of course we're not to the top of the hill yet, but right. <laughs> I can be Mrs. Howell and then you can be Mary Ann. <laughs> Very a Yeah, it's fun. I don't know. No, man, this is great. <laughs> it's the wild pioneer dance. Is it? Yes. Okay. I think this is the most unique parade I've ever been. <laughs> yeah. It's, 
<laughs> this year is different. <laughs> Something's different. There's um, a couple of kayakers and a, two people in a canoe down on Horse Thief Lake. Looks very pleasant. I'm glad I'm wearing sunscreen because it is roasting out here and that sun is just beating, beating down. It's a beat down. This part along here is always interesting because it looks like it's downhill. But if I stop pedaling, I stop. So it's either level or even slightly uphill. I think it's because the way the mountains are, they're angled kind of up. a pretty ride but there's way too much traffic way too much hey does this road go down to wish room okay thanks all right i'm going down to wish room as confirmed by some neighbor living up here here we go down more. Now it's only 8%. Looks like it's gonna level off a little bit up here, which I'll welcome. 
I don't need to have my heart rate so high. What I did was this. All right. Come on, level off a little bit. Well, I had the bright idea of going down on the other side and coming up this road. And uh, I didn't think it'd be so steep, but it was between seven to nine, almost the whole way percent. That took a lot of energy to doing that. And make things worse is now I got to climb up that anyway. So I still have that to go. That's wish room down there. And you should be able to see the road I rode up. Mary Hill Winery on the right. And apparently we're leaving the National Scenic Area soon to return on the Oregon side. Okay, at Stonehenge, this is a replica of the one in England. It's actually a memorial. kind of see the hill that Old Moody Road goes up. If you take the off-road route, goes up that hill straight in front of me, and it's unpaved, I'll gravel. It's very steep at the beginning, and then it's still steep, <laughs> even later on, but not quite. Um, it's very tough to ride up with panniers and not push, push it up, even in lowest gear. I made it to the campground without my tire going flat. Nobody waiting for the showers yet. Well, you still got the, the strain on the on the wheel and the brakes. Yep. Fender's rubbing up. My, my giant had that same plug in it. Uh, now, you gave me more space. But you got to take the fender off. Yeah, because the plug goes up and here yeah. about that plug. Yeah. It's just a plastic. So when you go past the school, is there a... Somebody had a Google. Somebody this morning that said it was like a 
I cut 10 miles off yeah. the flat. Y'all saw the prices? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, What's up, Wonder yeah. Woman? Uh, yeah. Should have got up earlier. No, but this whole setup for just breaks would have no interest in things. So, so she breaks 300 bucks. That's what I think. Still cool right now, very cool. I got a very late start. It's uh, 7.10, how did it get to be so late? I woke up at like 5.15. Got a flat tire though. I went, packed up everything, ready to leave. I was gonna leave with the group. I noticed I had a flat front tire. So I probably did pick up something. It would look like a wire in the tire. Wire in the tire. I'm still gonna get, go over Moody Road, see if I can catch up with the crew. Change the tire pretty fast. I see him heading up the mountain there, already got a good head start. I'm so far behind. This section through here is brutal. Maybe it would be quicker just to walk. You're gonna hear some heavy breathing from here on out. Legs are already tired. I wonder if I can see anybody. Oh yeah, I do. There's somebody up there. Not too far behind then. This is a brutal climb. Be great without panniers and on a mountain bike. All right, deep section number two. Back wheel spinning out again. Trying to sit back in the seat and get it. Wait. Hang in there. Yeah. This is the hardest part of Moody Road. Yeah. It gets better. Oh man. It's still hard. What happened? <laughs> ah, I got a flat tire. Oh, no. <laughs> How's that ultra low gear work? Good. Uh, doesn't help for the tire slip out though. Okay. Too much. That's the good part is it even it levels off and then you get some good views still. My favorite view is right back there. Yeah. <laughs> it just uh, it would be nice to have maybe a couple more miles warm up. <laughs> just come out of camp and you're like, oh no. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Off we go. Off the hill. You made it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh moody bro. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Stare down? Yep, he's giving you the stare down. He's like, why are you guys stopping here? You're not supposed to be stopping here. What's that? The guy that he had a river. He lives in Vancouver, but had a River City. Uh, Jersey. Jersey. Oh, okay. So here I am, way out nowhere. Second flat tire on this road, third flat tire today. Rear flat tire hit a, I'm guessing a nail or something. I found a puncture in the tire, but I couldn't find anything in it. I hit, right after I changed the other one, the back one went about 
when 200 yards maybe something slipped the sidewall of my tire it went flat instantly big gash out of my tire it's no good it's like a dollar bill in it trying to cover up the where it's ripped inflated it hardly enough just trying to get enough so I don't have to walk hopefully I can find a bike store in the Dells get a new tire going down the hill slowly see if I can keep from getting another front wheel poppage
good old Oak Street climb. Yeah. It's quite the climb. Yeah, that was the fastest I ever did that section. <laughs> That's usually just torture. Good morning. Good morning. He's up with it for a while. Finally, one day, he was he rebelled. Someone chanted his name. <laughs> yeah. So I wander over and I go, Oh, are you a fryer? And he goes, No, I'm a chipmunk. <laughs> Wow, yeah, this is a traditional wind here. It's not super hard, but it's probably 10 mile an hour headwind, 10 to 15. This part of the freeway ride's not bad. Early morning, lighter traffic, wide shoulders go through the way station and see if I can get my bike bike weighed. Our favorable winds definitely churned here today. Lots of low-lying clouds in, towards the Portland area. Hopefully that'll burn off. Let's see if I can get a pickup from the, oh, she's trying to get the, the weight too. Is it working? What's that? It says 250. Oh, that's... Here. Okay, we went up 450 when I went on. <laughs> well, when I went on. Oh, it's almost like ocean weather. The fog and the high winds, the water. Going across an on-ramp. Not a busy on-ramp, but still need to check. Nobody coming. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I ate some. Did you? I haven't eaten anything. Why don't you go? You need breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Morning. Yeah, like usual. I heard that. Yeah, I always like this part. Yeah, with a, just a turn thing. They go on real easy. They're not super heavy duty though. Uh -huh. Hello? Hello? No. Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> yeah. Kind of deadened in here. Good sound. Yeah. <laughs> Eagle Creek. Awesome hiking here. One of my favorite hikes. Then we get to go up a do not enter. However, they still allow for bikes. Oh, this is yours. 
yours. This is mine. You know what? I, I looked at that saddle. I thought it was mine. Oh. I, 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 I saw you coming down. It's like, when did you go up there? <laughs> uh, yes. I'll let you carry it up if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, I went on with you, so oh. it was <laughs> it went up to like 450 or something. I'm warm now. Morning. Some, oh, the tree. Oh man, look at that. Did some major damage. There's some sun. Another rock. They keep opening up more and more of the trail here to try to connect it from Portland clear out to Hood River. Oh, further to the Dalles. They still have quite a few sections or areas to go that are difficult. But this particular section used to not go through a couple years ago. And now it goes through. So you used to have to get back on the freeway here. Holy cow. Oh. I did not see that one in time. Those root bumps are hard to see. I kept hitting them and not even seeing them coming. Yeah, they had one with a white on it. I still didn't see it until I was right on top of it. We're right. And here's half bounced off a couple Yeah, those bumps, I couldn't, I didn't see them coming and all of a sudden I'd hit something. Like, right, where right. did that come from? <laughs> well, hold on tight. Yeah. everywhere. This is definitely not the weekend to come up if you want to be alone. Okay, here comes the mad house of Multnomah Falls. Maybe even worse than normal. house took me a while to get up through there
in traffic. Woo yeah, no kidding. starting to climb or have been climbing up to Crown Point Vista House biggest climb for the day morning morning Hi. I'm ready for the top go, DJ, go. <laughs> I am going <laughs> <laughs> This is my go. <laughs> I know, that's why I stopped and shredded my sweatshirt. Yeah, it was a good choice. Yeah. So I'm still hot right now. Congratulations on making it up here. Yeah. <laughs> Same to you. Thanks. Beautiful. Yeah. You can't ride. I mean, it's crazy how cloudy it is. You can just barely see Beacon Rock. The optical cube. I'm going to be slow. All right. I'm going to be fast. doesn't sound very loud going this fast. <laughs> the tippy canoe is quite busy. How'd you beat me here? I did. Yeah, I came back to be at water. <laughs> I was out in the parking lot. Yeah. Didn't see it. I knew it was 
me too. I couldn't hardly see it. I was looking for it. Yep, a lot quieter. Yeah. Grass. Lots of grass coming up. It's been good riding with you. Bye. I will, you too. Okay, man. All right, see ya. Take care. Yeah.